welcome to the english lovers by hanity in this video we are going to talk about uh, how to make comparative and the superlative degree hope that you have learned the uh, the the degrees the kind of degrees that we have for adjective in the previous lesson properly now we're going to talk about how we make the degrees okay and uh, i will talk about each and every rule that we need to keep in mind here you can see is the first thing that uh, we have to remember that uh, there are some syllables okay what are syllables syllables means uh, like something <coughs> sorry uh, which is actually counted as the number of vowel sounds in a word okay number of the vowel sounds in a word uh, you know uh, decides that how many uh, syllables are there okay here the first sort of word that we're going to talk about is one syllable word or monosyllabic word if the word is ending in e then obviously the word here given as an example is fine uh, we simply have to add r and st to the comparative and the superlative degree for that if the word is ending in e remember that and it is one syllabic word or monosyllabic word because uh, of the vowel sounds okay fine that's it okay i mean okay uh, like one time if there is the vowel sound comes out then definitely it is monosyllabic and uh, r and st would be added to the comparative and the superlative degree for the same then comes uh, your second sort of one syllabic word but this time it is a little bit different you see uh, the word hot is given as an example why we double the consonant t uh, is because of the combination of vowel and the consonant okay if if there is a vowel sound preceding the next word next alphabet that is uh, t here as an example t or t sound we say then before that one is a vowel sound then definitely the consonant at the last is going to be double and er and est would be added to the uh, <clears throat> comparative and the superlative degree the next is uh, like if there are there is a combination of uh, uh, vowels and the consonants all together like number of vowels are there number of consonants are there but the co consonants are more than one at last you see f a s t fast okay if we say that then s t or s t to two sounds are there for the consonants in such case the preceding vowel will not have any sort of effect or simply we are going to add er and est to the comparative and the superlative degree in that case in the case of the monosyllabic word but when uh, the word is of two syllables and it ends in y we simply have to add i and uh, uh, turn y into i uh, then er and est would be added that means y would be turned into i in both the cases for the comparative and the superlative degree but if the word is of two syllables but it is not ending in y we simply have to do one thing we have to add more and most before the comparative and the superlative degree <clears throat> So that's what we need to remember about the words, okay? How to count the syllables? Suppose the modern word is there, modern, ma, turn, two times, okay? Uh, or or we can say that the vowel sound is there. And how to count the vowel sound? If there is no obstruction of any of the in the passage of uttering the the alphabet, then definitely or or the sound. And then definitely it is a vowel sound when there is no obstruction of air okay then it is a vowel sound so that's why uh, we need to count the number of syllables here you have to remember that two if the two syllables are there and any ending in uh, y then it would turn into i y will turn into i otherwise if there, it, that is not ending in y we have to just add more and more to that but there are some other cases also we're going to discuss that one okay like where if it is having some other uh, two syllabic words or double syllabic or disyllabic words 
then uh, in such cases we simply add er and est which are those cases we're going to talk about them okay here we have the irregular forms okay good bad or best uh, bad words worst little less least much more most so you need to remember them as it is because they won't have the same formation as we have done earlier like according to the rules okay they have these uh, formations you remember those now see the next slide yeah if there is like it is the repetition of those rules but here we are having if the single syllable or the double syllable words ending with y er o w <coughs> and l e what we do okay so when it is ending in er if the the monosyllabic or the diacyllabic diacyllabic word ends in um, er then what happens or sorry uh, like uh, when it is ending with the y e r o w l e what we do so here we have black okay then simply we add e r and e s t for the uh, that we have done earlier okay so no need to actually confuse yourself in that as uh, here uh, the rule is getting repeated okay don't confuse yourself if the monosyllabic word and the diacyllabic word are having y e r o w l e the rule would be different for that only okay you see uh, if there is e that we have already done nice nicer nicest and then late later latest okay and then if it is ending in y uh, turn y into i that is a repetition of it okay um like if the adjective is a small one with the little stress on the vowel we double the consonant that we have also done and <coughs> this is a different one for other double syllable words that do not end in y er o w or l e if these are not given at the last then we are going to add more and most to the double syllabic and then more than double syllable words okay otherwise we are not going to add more and most otherwise if the word is ending if the word is two syllabic word and an ending in y we are going to turn it accordingly y to i and simply the other things are also to be uh, you know done now one more rule i would add up here the thing is that uh, very important thing if the word is ending in y okay and it is a monosyllabic word but before y there is uh, the vowel sound we are not going to change y into um, uh, any other you know um, sound or i we are not going to turn that into i we are simply going to uh, keep er and est after y y will stay there like support the word gay gay g a y gay which means fresh or we take the example koi c o i koi okay and uh, in such cases what we need to do is we need to add er and est to that simply we have to add er and est to that and that's it that's it you have to do um, um no need to change y in such cases okay in case of monosyllabic okay so hope so that uh, this video must have been helpful to you okay uh <coughs> there is one exercise that you can do you can stop the video here and you can do this exercise and let me know the answers or wherever you feel the problem then i'll solve it out okay that's not a big deal my brother is dash my sister okay so comparative degree is to be used here we need to know that thing we need to know this also after the comparative we use than t h a n than my brother is shorter and short is a monosyllabic word ending in t okay er and est would be added for the comparative and the superlative here simply we have to add my brother is shorter than my sister okay now here i am as dash at football as my best friend here as plus adjective plus as is the combination getting used in uh the positive degree simply we have to add good i'm as good as 
good at football as my best friend okay so so many questions are there you can stop here and just find it out what are the different answers and if you don't have the reply then just uh, let me know i'll sol sort it out thank you very much and uh, keep watching the videos <coughs> and subscribe my channel for sure and uh, share my videos to the utmost thank you very much it's time to say bye bye take care